What's up everybody? This is Retro Goose and we are back with another video. In today's video, I just feel like this is a special topic because I feel like your favorite Zelda YouTuber should have a 100% completed map. So, yeah, yeah, check it out. I am your favorite Zelda YouTuber, right? So yeah, like, that is monumental. I know there's no reward for having a 100% completed map, but I went on the internet. <clears throat> and I saw, like, the frustration <clears throat> that people were going through to, like, when they got stuck at 99.95. Or when they got stuck at 99.87 or whatever, and they were just trying to get those last few locations. This is 100% it, by the way. I mean, you're, if I'm not your favorite Zelda YouTuber, I'm pretty sure your favorite Zelda YouTuber has this 100%, right? Right? No? Okay, yeah. Stick with me, buddy. Anyway, <clears throat> so going through all of this, um, when I was 100% in it, I realized that it's not, I know it's not that hard. Everybody can do it. Um, it's just like the time that you got to put into it. And so I came up with my top five missable locations when you're trying to like 100% the game. And we'll get into them right here. That's what this the topic of this video is going to be. So we'll start with the honorable mentions. And it's not going to be like random bridges that you probably never crossed or something like that. Because if you're trying to 100% this game and you're moving through every single like location... Chances are you're going to eventually come to them all. Cave entrances and all. So, I'm not really like, um, let me see. Going to go through like random locations like that because we're all going to have a random variable at the end of the day. So, let's see. Number one missed location that I encountered, let me see, is here. Just because, and it, this is based on difficulty. Um, so, like, this Dracuzu, Dracozo altar, when you come in here, like, I was trying to ascend through the ceiling for, like, like, maybe, like, 30 minutes before I realized I could go through the waterfall. Basically, when you come here, just go through the waterfall. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Um... <clears throat> understand like uh i didn't really look this one up and that's why this is like number five on my list of missable locations because i kind of figured this one out on my own so yeah go through the waterfall and then you'll end up there and that is there by that bargainer statue at the wellspring of courage and number four on the list of missable locations when you're trying to 100 percent the map oh look Look in the corner there. What number is that? That's 100 out of 100%. Not 99.5. Oh, yeah. And I, I like I got to 99.5 by the weekend. And it only took me like a couple, like maybe like four or five hours to finally get that last percent. So like it didn't take me like a week or whatever. Um, Another one that I, I looked up was um this one right here. And it is the smithing construct, so Mineru and the um, spirit temple. Uh, after you beat the spirit temple where she's going to be standing, talk to both of the constructs and then like exchange Zonite for whatever it is they're offering. And then that'll open up the side quest for ancient arrows and then it'll give you the smithing construct, which is actually adding to your percentage on the map because of this icon. So... <clears throat> we have gone through number five. We've gone through number four in the spirit temple, which is that smithing construct. A lot of people might miss that. Um, all the other locations, you can just, they're on YouTube because I'm not going to go through and do a scroll through of my whole map, which I might do if you guys request it in the comments. But during this video, I probably won't just scroll through everything but there is like a video by this game like by this guy named i rule and he scrolls through like everything 
so you can look at that that's what i used and then partly i used like i have like a strategy guide of course um and then there was just reddit like comment threads that's how so number three on the list of missable locations and this one's gonna be common i know a lot of people probably know about this one but i just think this is the one of the most annoying ones it's this east passage it's not actually right here it's on the bottom so you need to jump down here to go to the east passage at hyrule castle and that is number three so number mm, two can't count is up here now I know a lot of Zelda YouTubers like to not use glitches and not use duplication and probably don't use the air bike. They just act like it doesn't exist. But I feel like the average normal person is gonna use the air bike. And let me see. Yeah, if you do that to get to like the crystal or whatever, or get to the whatever the challenge is, you're going to miss the fact that you need to activate the console or whatever that circular thing put your hand on it and that will open up this sky mine thing and that adds to the percentage on your your map so yeah don't just air bike it like kind of go through that what did i just do i don't know but we were over here and yeah sky mine didn't really open up until i put my hand on that circle and then it added to a percentage on my map so I feel like if people are just kind of like rushing through to get the shrines in the sky, because I literally like strapped the crystal to the air bike and rode it down to the shrine. I might have a video of that on here. You're going to miss that sky mine thing. Um, if you're playing the game straightforward, kudos to you. But I just feel like most people are not like online. Like if I'm in the comfort of my own home, I'm just going to air bike it everywhere. I'm not trying to like do all that crap. And you can listen to me because... As you see, like in the bottom right corner, I have like the 100%. You see that? That means listen to me. That means I'm credible. I'm a, I'm a 100 percenter. All right. So that was number two. And number one is here. This is actually a location in here. A lot of people probably wandered in there. But if you really, if you pay attention to the story, it never requires you to go through to the lost woods and that is a location that you may miss when you're trying to 100 percent it you just go through this chasm 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 to get to the deku tree and there's really no reason to go in here but you you need to walk in there and get the lost woods registered to your map and just in summary lost woods uh sky mine um East East uh, Passage at Hyrule Castle. Um, depths, depths, Dracuzu, Dracozo Altar, and then here Smith and Construct, and then the honorable mentions are things that everybody's gonna have problems with. And if you look, just look in the comments on any video, everybody's gonna say, "Oh, I couldn't find Hyrule Moat Chasm," or. I couldn't find this. It's just like go around until you find the door. It's just a it's a little secret, but it's on the island. There's a chasm there. There's a chasm there. I think there's like a hole or opening on the side. There's also a chasm under here. You just go through the, the waterfall to get to there. I think that secret one. And you got to do that if you're going to find the shrine. And where is, oh yeah, there's a chasm right here. It's the same thing. It's just like it's a secret passage that you got to find on the side or something like that. There's YouTube videos for that. That's why I'm not going to put that in my top five because it was just obvious based on what people were saying. And then a lot of people say Stolak Bridge is one that they miss. But for me personally, I don't see how you can miss that. It's just it's right there. Like, you know, it's a bridge on top. Like, how do you not see that? But. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Is there any other honorable mentions? I mean, yeah, like there, there's a couple of YouTube videos that tell you like the rule for finding all the mines and groves. Um, the mines are under peaks, I think. Like the, the small mines. The big mines are under, like the abandoned mines are under cities. 
and then the groves are under like forest and woods but they have their little horseshoe thing in them so if you follow all of that you should be able to 100 percent this game and then you can join the club and be like me and just like have that down in the bottom right corner but yeah don't don't stress you out trying to don't stress yourself out trying to be him like me and I'm I'm pretty sure your favorite Zelda YouTuber has already hundred percent of this thing. And if if they haven't, maybe you should come over and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, um that is my top five missable locations for hundred percent in this game. Now me and Tulin are going to go crack some heads. Y'all have a good weekend or weekday or whenever you see this. Just have a good life, man.